PIPOC is a research study in which we are investigating children who come in with symptoms and signs of uh, infections in their coverings of their brains, what we call meningitis. So we are testing out our tools and developing tools to make a diagnosis of meningitis very quickly and very close to the patient. Uh, so that uh, we are able to pick up whatever organisms are causing the disease and then we are able to target and treat them better. This hospital is a good place for the study because it serves a region of southwestern and western Uganda and actually also gets children from neighboring countries, Tanzania, Rwanda, uh, Congo. We have a basic infrastructure for conducting studies. We have a team that is uh, competent to do these procedures that we need to do, lumbar punctures, uh, blood cultures. We have uh, a basic laboratory structure, but also an advanced laboratory structure that is provided by uh, Epicenter uh, Research Laboratory. But also we have the numbers of patients. A lot of patients are coming in and these are the patients we are looking for. So this uh, definitely provides us the best environment to do this study. Every day we probably are seeing about uh, a child, one or two children suspected to have meningitis, but when we test them, as I said, the tests are not as sensitive to confirm with everyone, but on average every day we have a child, sometimes two children, who uh, meet the definition for meningitis according to the study. When a child comes to hospital, uh, they enter into our ward through the entrance that you can see in the background, and they get quickly assessed by the admission team that allows us to identify whether they have any symptom or sign that could be meningitis. And then once they know, the study doctors and nurses are present as well all the time. And they quickly then um, evaluate if the child fits into the study. And then we consent the parents. And once they consent and agree to take part in the study, we take the history, we take, examine the child, and we take samples, uh, study samples from the patient. And then we um, send these samples to the laboratory, which is in the neighborhood, uh, very close by at Epicenter and Barrow Research Base. And we quickly are able to return results, and then those results are used to manage the patient by the whole clinical team in the world. And um, then we monitor the child uh, constantly thereafter. We participate in giving the child treatment. We uh, monitor response to treatment. And on day three, or the third day after admission, we take another sample, which is helpful for us to understand the kind of proteins and how they change during the course of admission. Now the child then continues to get treatment until discharge. Usually children with suspected meningitis, we treat them for 10 to 14 days. But if they are very sick and need uh, a lot more treatment, we may go on until three weeks. So it's a long course of treatment sometimes and uh, our study team works with a team that is in the ward that cares for these patients to make sure that they recover fully for discharge. Here at Epicenter for the PIPOC project we work together with the university and hospital and we also work with the Karolinska Institute and Science for Life Laboratory from Stockholm. For the PIPOC project, Epicenter does all the laboratory work. So the technician receives the samples at that bench, then they will distribute the samples to where they are supposed to go. So he'll leave the ones that are supposed to be worked on in this area, then he'll transfer the ones that need bacteriology work to the microbiology lab. Then this other side now will do the HIV testing on the blood. We'll also do the malaria rapid diagnostic test. If it's positive, we we'll go ahead and do the blood smear. We do the chemistry analysis and the hematology analysis. Then whatever remains, we we'll biobank it. Right now in this study we have we are using something called a film array, which is a, a PCR-based technique that diagnoses infections quickly. But that has not been available, it has only come because of this study. 
Now, otherwise, the, easy, the, the fastest way to diagnose and confirm meningitis is with the culture of the fluid around the meninges. Now, that takes about four to five days. Within four to five days, or even a week sometimes, most children with meningitis, if it's not well treated, they will have died. So we do not, as we speak, have uh, a test that will fit the purpose for giving us a diagnosis within one hour or two hours so that we can make very important decisions. We are hoping that with the data we collect in this study, we should then be able to develop tools that will be applicable right on the bedside. We pride in this kind of uh, collaboration because it is at the heart of the future of medicine for our people in low-income settings. So if we can have a point of care diagnostic system that can be run even in a remote setting, which is what the PIPOC team is working towards, then I know so many children will be saved. Because meningitis is manageable, it, it can be cured if we can find out the etiology and treating time.